Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I'll show you how to create this cool chain animation in Cinema 4D. The bonus parts for Adobe After Effects will be discontinued. If you are still interested, you can find the files on my Patreon. Do you like the artwork? You can now buy the NFT for each tutorial on OpenSea. If you are still interested, please have a look at my OpenSea channel. You can find the link in the caption. Let's get started Art Invaders, we'll start with the render settings. There you can select all the important things, such as the format. To do this, press the cogwheel icon at the top. Under Render, Select Physical. Then select a format of your choice. I take 1080 by 1080 pixels, the standard Instagram post format. After that, select all frames for frame range, since we are creating an animation. That's it, now let's move on to creating the 3D objects. First we create the chain. To do this, go to the bar at the top and select a square spline. Select 100 cm for width and 40 cm for height. Also set a check mark at rounding and under 20 degrees at angle. Then select sweep and a circle spline in the bar at the top. The radius of the circle spline corresponds to 6 cm and select 3 under number. Then you place the circle spline in the rectangle under the sweep. Now select the cloner at the top of the bar and place the sweep under it. Then go to the cloner under the tag object and select linear in the mode field. Enter 0 for position Y and minus 58 cm for position X. At count you select 14. For rotation P select 255. Now select torus in the bar at the top. Rotate and scale it to the right size and place it at the end of the chain. Repeat this for the second end. Now select a torus, right click on it and go to simulation tags, collider body. Duplicate the collider body tag for the second torus. You can do this by holding down the command key and moving the tag with the mouse to the other layer. Now select the cloner, right click on it and go to simulation tags and then rigid body. Select the rigid body tag, go to collision, then shape and there select moving mesh. Then go to the mass sub item and check the custom center box. If you now press play, the chain is already animated. Now we insert more Taurus's rings. You position them at the places where the other elements should hang on the chain. In this tutorial we need two rings for the hearts and one ring for the lettering. When you are done, search for connector. With this you can connect more elements with the already existing animation. The first ring and the first connector I call 1. Now select the connector. As object letter A you choose the cloner and as object letter B the number 1 torus. The connector works only if you position it correctly. As you can see, the connector is divided into two colors. One half must contain object A and the second half object B. Repeat this process for the other rings. Finally, we copy the rigid body tag from the chain so that the ring is animated as well. If you press play now you can see that the ring is connected to the chain. Now let's move on to the other elements that hang on the chain. First we create the love lettering. For this we search for mo text. Then we select the mo text and go to the object menu item. Under text we write the term love. At font we can choose a font of our choice. I choose a Maz do M right. For depth we choose 15 cm, for height 176 cm and for horizontal spacing minus 7. Now we switch to the caps menu item. 
For size we select 6 cm, for shape depth minus 100, for segments 50 and finally we set a check mark at bevel outside. Now we duplicate the mo text. There we set size to 100, shape depth to 100 and remove the hook at bevel outside. Now we add a torus as a link to the top of the chain. As you can see, I use two different materials for the crotch train. So that we can adjust them later, we have to position the materials in the right place now. Create two new materials. I will call one material plastic and one metal. Plastic will go on the inner part of the lettering and the metal on the outer part. Besides, we also use metal for the ring. Select all parts of the lettering and press the right mouse button and select connect objects. Now we have one connected object. The other parts are not visible and we keep them as a backup in case you want to change something later. Now we set the coordinate cross to the center of the lettering. For this we search for axis center. There we set a check mark at alignment and select for axis all and for alignment world. Then press execute. Now we search again for connector. We also go to the bar at the top and select connect. Below that, we place the lettering. Even if we have connected all the pieces before, Cinema 4D will not see the stroke as one piece in animations until we use connect. Now we go to the connector. As object A we select the ring in the middle of the chain. As object B, we select the connect object, as the lettering. Again, we have to put the connector in the right position. We also duplicate an existing rigid body tag onto the lettering so that it is animated. Now if we press play, all the objects in the chain are animated. I'll now add two more hearts. The basic principle remains the same, so I won't go into it again now. Now let's move on to the materials and textures. From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials, bump maps and colors or by adding additional objects. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send me your questions or final results on Instagram. I will answer them all as soon as possible or repost your artwork as a thank you. Well let's move on. Choose the material metal. Drag and drop the material on the chain, the rings and on the hearts. Open the material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new GGX layer. Set the roughness value to 8 and the specular strength value to 10. The material is ready. Now select the already created material plastic. There we need the color, transparency and reflectance channel. Go to transparency and select a red tone. Set saturation to 35% and V to 100%. At refraction preset select pet. Now select sky from the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material here as well. Drag and drop the material onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic from me. Now we add a second HDRI texture. For this we press on the arrow symbol and select layer. After that we press on the image and can insert a second image. Then we set the blending mode to overlay and reduce the intensity to 50%. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. You have the choice between three packages. For 5 euro per month you have access to the project files. For 8 euro per month you get the benefits of the first package plus exclusive access to my Adobe After Effects files. There I edit all animations additionally. For 12 euro per month you get the advantages of the other packages plus earlier access to my tutorials. I hope there is something for you and thanks for the support Art Invaders. So that you have no errors in the animation go to one of the simulation tags.
There you go to the menu item cache and press pay call. At the end we set a plane as background. Then we create a new material. There we only need the color channel and set the color to black. That's it, well done art invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with a theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.